Hey, hey, what are you shaking, homies? So today we are gonna take this white Max Ace Banshee and we're gonna dye it red like this replicant. So this is something I've done in the past and it is extremely easy. There's really nothing to it whatsoever. So all you're gonna need is some Rit Dye More. I'll put a link down below. Otherwise you can pick it up at your local hobby store. And this is the same process for literally anything that's G10, whether it's handle scales for your knife or really whatever. So grab something that's G10, Grab some dye, follow along, you'll be doing this in no time. First things first though, we're gonna have to take this knife apart. So let's get to Alright guys, so we got it all disassembled here. Now, one step that is very important that every tutorial I've seen did not go over is you want these scales totally clean. You want to get all the grease, uh, all the oils from your hands, everything you can off of them. So get some high percentage rubbing alcohol, some 91% or higher. And you're really easy, you're just gonna push them on some paper towels. Don't be, don't be shy with it. And make sure you get these things really, really clean. Now wear gloves too, so the oils on your hands uh, won't get in there. And the dye job will look better uh, if you get it all, especially like you see in these pivots, you know, there's tons of gunk and stuff in there. So you just wanna really get as much off as you can. Um, that you're not gonna see, so you don't need to be too crazy about it, but that's just an example. Like, there's oils all over here, not just the ones you can see. If you do wanna get in there real good, you can use a toothbrush with rubbing alcohol or some Q-tips. But yeah, I'm just gonna go off, clean all these really good with rubbing alcohol, and then we're gonna go to the stove and we'll have some fun. Okay guys, first thing first, you're gonna need a stainless steel pan, preferably one you don't care about. Like, go to Goodwill, get one just for this. Um, otherwise, just, just do one you don't care about, because it might stain it. Some stainless steel, you'll be able to get it off, some you won't. Now this is what you're gonna need, Rit Dye More, not the regular Rit Dye, the Dye More for synthetics. Synthetics meaning plastics, stuff like that. This stuff is a dream. Now we're doing red, not blue. My girlfriend threw out the container with the red, so um, I did the previous job with this, and the nice thing about this is you can reuse the same dye. So all I got in here is two cups of water and Half a bottle of this, okay? You want to use, you probably don't need that much, but it's better to use more than not enough. And once again, you can pour this into a milk jug or something once it cools down, and you can reuse it in future projects. So, now that they are all clean, um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, one minute increments, and I'm going to do them one at a time. So, I'm going to set a timer right here on my stove in the background here. You can't see that, but it's cool. I can see it. And we got one minute, so I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to check it uh, every, like, 20 seconds or so. And we're going to do the same process with each one. Um, the temperature of this, you want to bring it up to a boil and then kick it down. Using my infrared thermometer, it is 180 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 210, so just a little bit under water boiling. You want it nice and hot. Basically, keep it on a simmer. I could probably turn it up even more, just a little bit. Okay, so we are at halfway in. We're about 30 seconds in. Uh, and you can see it's taking the color really well. Um, it's a little pinkish, reddish there, so we're gonna leave it in another 30 seconds. And we're gonna do one minute on all of them, and then if I want to make it darker, then we'll just, we'll just do it again on all of them. But I'm gonna do the same method on all, so they're all consistent. And if you keep them consistent, this is very easy. So I got 10 more seconds on the clock. So five, four, three, two, one, okay, and that's where we're at there. So I'm gonna rinse this off. Let me turn off my uh, timer here, okay. Okay, and I rinsed it off. So it is a little bit more of like a pink color, but that's okay, we're just gonna put it in longer. So I'm gonna do these other three all for a minute off camera, and we'll get back and then we'll do a second batch. So let me do all these for one more minute. And uh, we'll come back when they're all up to where they are. Okay, guys, so they're all consistent, but they are all uh, too pink. So we're going to do another minute on each, and uh, we'll see where that takes us. So I'm going to start back over with the first one. We're going to do another wash of a minute each. And we'll go from there. Same thing. I'm just going to use my timer here and keep it consistent. And uh, after we do a second passing on all these, uh, I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like then. Okay, guys, so it's been a second wash. I started just using a little... Um, cup here to rinse them off in and I uh, noticed they all got darker but they are all they're still not quite the red I want so I'm gonna do one more minute on each now you might ask me why didn't I just you know leave them in the whole time uh, because you're on the stove here and everything 
I think it's better to do short batches so you don't risk it burning on the, I mean, the bottom of the pan's hot, you know, and especially if you're not, like, moving it around enough. Like, if you leave them in there too long, you do run the risk of, like, melting or burning the bottom of it. The G10 has a pretty high um, melt rate, you know, where you, before you're going to hurt the plastic, but better safe than sorry. And it's always better to do a small, you know, you can always, you can always go more, you can't go back. So that's why I prefer doing it in small things, but I'm going to do one more minute on each. Uh, and then we're gonna be good. So we're gonna do this one more one more time. So a third coat and uh, we should be good But one more here goes nothing. Alright guys after three dips in there So after three minutes total on each uh, we get this really 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 nice red color um, that I'm actually Really happy with so we're gonna let these dry. We're just gonna dry them off with some paper towel nothing nothing too crazy here and um, Yeah, and then we're gonna put the knife back together. So you can put this in like an old milk jug or really any any container once it cools down. And you can reuse the skin. All you got to do is just bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and uh, do your thing. But that was just three minutes on each scale. Uh, extremely easy. No chemicals other than the Rit Dye More. I'll put links down below. Uh, I bought mine at Hobby Lobby. If you guys have Hobby Lobby in your area, go there. Um, otherwise, you know, pretty simple. But let's put the knife back together and we'll see how it looks all together. All right, check it out, guys. So it looks amazing. I think it turned out really, really well. And I waited a day so I could Loctite everything. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out literally perfect. So yeah, this was extremely easy. Uh, nothing really to it. Um, you remember, you can always go darker, you can't go lighter, so I recommend doing it just like one minute at a time, 30 seconds, one minute at a time, uh, you know, and then, you know, that way you don't accidentally do it too dark. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I like this red because there's actually, you can buy it in red, well, it's sold out in red, but, so I couldn't buy it in red, but now I got a red one, and my red's a little different than the one you buy from the company. The one from the company looks more like a... Kind of like the Swiss Army knife type red, where I like how this is more like the blood red. I think it looks a little meaner, uh, and I think it works great with the blue spacers. So, yeah, really, really like it. So this is the same process for whatever you're trying to dye, as long as it's G10. Just make sure they're really clean, and um, make sure you have the, the dye at the right temperature. You know, you want it hot, but not boiling. So bring it to a boil, let it simmer. Throw them in there, bada bing, bada boom, and you're good to go. Links for the dye will be down below, but you can probably get it at um, any of your local you know, craft stores. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later, and peace out.